Hello everyone, welcome to the RE Technology hosted Exact Contact webinar. We will get started in about five minutes. We've got some exciting content to cover today. Really important and exciting topic of great ways for um, every agent, broker, and frankly, even consultants and technology companies to grow their business called the Next Gen CRM. So um, if we can flip to the next slide, I just want to do a little bit of housekeeping and then we'll jump in. So. If you have uh, any questions throughout this session, um, feel free if you see over in that little bar on the right hand side where the, where the blue arrow is, see the thing that says questions. If you just click on that little green, the little um, triangle there, it will open it up and then uh, feel free to ask us a question and we'll jump in if it's appropriate or if not, we'll do it at the end. So if you don't hear it answered right away, don't don't uh, get worried, we'll, we'll get to it, just maybe later in the session. Um, so with that, I'd like to introduce the person that's gonna be taking us through this exciting topic today and her name is Shannon McGee. She's a sales executive at Exact Contact, and unfortunately, she's got a bit of a cold today, so <laughs> be, be light on her, like many of us across the country right now. Um, and she's a really interesting um, person. She's actually dealt with a lot of sales and recruiting efforts and has actually lived the, the dream of using CRMs and understands how it can really, really help your business grow when you use them effectively. So welcome, Shannon. Thank you so much, Marilyn, for the great introduction. And I'm happy to I'll be chatting with everybody, um, whether it's morning or afternoon, hello to you today. Um, I'm gonna kick us off by defining what that dream is, right? We wanna build the business of your dreams. Um, and to do that, you need to create goals with an action plan for how you're gonna earn the income you want to achieve the work and life balance that, that you want to have throughout the year. Um, you're gonna work that plan and you're gonna see your performance against your goals. With, you, you, to actually achieve those goals, we obviously need to nurture and convert leads, and you're going to do that better and better than ever when you're using a great CRM. You're going to keep in touch with your sphere better than you ever thought possible and with less effort. You want to maintain a professional online presence. And that includes both your website and social media, and a great CRM can also help you do those things. And it's also going to help you manage your active business with nothing falling through the cracks. So you know, easy um, to keep track of all of those tasks and reminders throughout the day, throughout the weeks and the months over the course of the year. And above all, it's going to help you stay organized and in control of your entire business. Now, uh, Marilyn has uh, <coughs> some info here to provide you just with regards to CRM and, and the importance. Yes, the Wave Group, um, our consulting firm, just fielded a study with brokers across the country asking them about um, client relationship management platforms and you know why they're interested in them and what benefits that they think they deliver, which are are many, as uh, is what just Shannon was talking about. You know, number one, with the word client relationship management, that's obvious, right? That we want to strengthen client relationships, and if we can create a consistent cadence of communication and engagement with consumers, it really does make a huge difference. When when it comes time for them to refer someone to an agent, or when it comes time for them to actually buy or sell themselves. Uh, certainly, it's going to give you a much better shot if they already trust and know you and have you know have talked to you literally or not literally, but in some ways recently. Um, getting organized, I don't know a person in the world that doesn't think they can get more organized, especially when, like many of us, we're people people and where paperwork is not our goal in life, but yet it really can make a big difference and can make our our people relationships much much stronger. Um, this is really important too. A lot of people spend time at the top of the lead funnel and at the bottom, but they don't spend time in between. And that's really where the magic happens, right? So if you get, you know, you meet someone at an open house, the idea of staying in touch with them until it's time for them to actually think about buying or selling is really important. Or if you get a lead that comes in from a third party site like a Zillow or a Truly or a Homes.com, um, you have to make sure that you're continuing to talk to those folks because many of them, as Zillow refers to them, are up funnel. In other words, they're not quite ready yet. Um, so you, you've got to stay in touch with them. Um, of course, ensuring follow up with your um, with your agents or ensuring that your agents follow up with your clients is a reason that brokers like it. You know, bottom line is it helps you close more business. That's the that's the most important thing. And it really just gives you a framework. You know, if, if, if we ever, every salesperson's done this, you come up and you wake up in the morning, you're like, oh, geez, what am I supposed to do today? And you kind of aren't focused. You haven't really figured it out and you, you might not necessarily use the best use of your time. With a CRM, it tells you what to do. It makes it a lot easier. So you just get up and sort of follow its path and away you go. Um, of course, recruiting and retaining agents is a critical thing and, you know, building and growing your brand. The more that you're out there and the more you're talking and, and engaging with interesting information, you know, the more important it is. And then, of course, referrals. There's nothing 
more important in, in driving profitability of a business than referrals. So CRM solutions kind of do all of those things. It's almost kind of overwhelming when you think about it, but they really do. Um, next slide. And this is really interesting too, is, you know, the, the word client relationship management, number one, I think it's still kind of misunderstood. A lot of people think that when you have a, you know, just an email blast campaign that you have a CRM, or if you have a, a big spreadsheet with all of your customer names on it, you have a CRM, or if you use Outlook to manage your daily activities, you have a CRM. And the truth is none of those things truly are CRMs in the way that they could be. And today, it's still um, a good portion of people still have um, solutions that are part of a website or a lead generation solution. Those programs are really good, but they're a little bit light a lot of times, and they aren't necessarily as easy to use as some people would like. What we're seeing as we talk to brokers across the country is that there are, many of them are now moving into a standalone CRM solution, and we're going to see one of those today. Um, and when we look at satisfaction and the and bottom line, you know, does this thing help me sell more business and is it money worth spending? By far, the standalone CRM um, solutions are the ones that come back is the strongest. Um, so uh, we're going to be publishing this entire study um, probably within the next month or so, so keep your eye out for it, but I wanted to give you a little sneak peek. So back to you, Shannon. Thanks so much, Marilyn. And I, I'm just going to tie everything that, uh, that Marilyn just overviewed with that study back to exact contact and how that's it's going to help you achieve that business of your dreams. Um, a system, a standalone CRM system like exact contact is going to um, help you manage and organize your business. It is a system that is specific to real estate. It includes email marketing that is specific to a real estate business. And I'll show you why when we get into the system demo, there's a lot of content that's done for you. There's a lot of automation, um, task lists, things that are already set up and can help automate your business all in one great platform that includes a website as well as social media marketing. So without going too much further into um, that, I do want to get right into the system demo. And we are going to achieve that business of your dreams with goal setting, a customizable dashboard, automated lead capture and nurturing, marketing activity plans, a business pipeline to help you manage your clients as soon as they come in as new prospects, right through to them being clients. We have automated keep in touch phone call reminders, automated birthday and move in anniversary reminders, and automated email greeting cards for those dates, an automated monthly e-newsletter, an IDX enabled website, automatic social media marketing, an active business platform to help you manage your listings and your buyers, and it's going to keep you on track with things like listing and closing activity plans. So we've got a lot to cover, as you can see. Um, I'm going to stay a little bit top of the waves today, but if there are any questions, um, as Marilyn said at the beginning, feel free to pop those into that Q&A box. I do have my colleagues uh, Joanne and Allison on that Q&A box with us today, so if there are product-related questions, they'll pop in there and answer those um, as quickly as they can throughout the session, um, or we'll follow up with you at the end. So, oops, let me just get back out of here and get into my system. Um, we're initially going to talk about goal setting, and I've already got our system logged into uh, to goal setting, goal setting menu item here. The system allows you to set up goals for finan your financial goals, as well as your activity-based goals. So we've already populated some numbers, and this is you know, from January, starting um, the new year. So this is a great time of year to be looking at setting those goals for the next year that's coming, getting your planning in place before the hectic holiday season, um, and that way you're setting yourself up to be that much more successful next year. So the system actually asks you a series of 15 questions, and it's going to ask you things like, what do you want to make this year? What is your commission per transaction? What percentage of closed transactions are seller listings? What percentage of listings become closed transactions, right? Those might be two different numbers. Um, what percentage of your listing presentations actually get you the listing? What percentage of buyer presentations result in a sale? And then the system will now ask you the rest of the questions based on your activity for the year. Now, the beautiful thing about this is we're not expecting you to work all 52 weeks of the year. You can choose. So I, we've chosen 48 weeks. We're going to take a few weeks off, you know, here and there, whether it's days or weeks at a time. And that's hard to do with uh, when you're running your own business. But once we set up these goals, now remember these are for the whole year. 
So we're asking things like how many contacts you'll add. How many referrals do you want to get this year? How many phone calls would you like to make to your database? You're setting up this accountability because this is the activity that's going to help you achieve that dream of, what did we set up, 300,000 in commission this year. So, how many handwritten notes? How many Popeyes are you going to do? And how many listing presentations? And so on and so forth, until we get all the way through to having those goals set up and confirmed for the year. Now, you do have the ability to edit these. Um, as you, you know, if you're, if you're seeing something that you set up a little bit uh, early in the year and think, ooh, that's not that realistic, you do have the ability to come back and, and edit your goals. Um, but work with your broker, work with your coach, trainer to set up these goals realistically for yourself. Make them achievable, but not so easy that, uh, that you're just going to be able to, uh, you know, take, uh, take those uh, six or eight weeks off. We, 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 you know, you want to set up something that's achievable, but is really going to push you towards that, that ultimate goal. Um, then, of course, we have to work towards these goals. And the system will help you do that. Um, when I look back at our, our dashboard of the system, we actually now can see, based on any activity that we've logged for our closed business, so this is both buyers and seller listings, based on the activity that we've logged, it tracks it against those goals that we set. And this chart actually shows you, you know, where you're at year to date with regards to your goals. So actual money value and then percentage towards your goal. Red, black, or green, based on whether you're you know, falling a little short or you're, you're overachieving, which is you know, what we all want to be, is, is in that green range. And you, can, you also have this snapshot of where you're at towards those prospecting activity goals. So based on those annual goals, the system breaks it down based on 48 weeks. So this is our actual goal for the week what we've actually logged. Now, our numbers are a little off. Yours are going to look, look, look a lot nicer than this because you're actually logging prospecting activities. We're not realtors, so this is a demo database. But you can see the system is keeping you accountable. Um, nobody wants to, to log in and see this in the red, right? We want to be able to, to track and see this within the system itself. Now, on the dashboard here, you'll notice there are some additional widgets, things like our tasks and appointments. Um, our business pipeline. So this is a snapshot of what status your clients are at. And as you move them through, these numbers will adjust. We looked at these ones already. You've got a snapshot of your active listings and buyers as they've been logged in the active business section of the system. That includes prospective buyers. You have a snapshot of your active business, what the value is, what the commission actually um, stands to be earned from these uh, listings or buyers. You can track the original source of your contacts, so where your leads are coming from, and then where you're actually closing business. So this helps to hold, hold you accountable um, on the marketing front as well. So if you're seeing that you know, you're closing a ton of leads from your website or you're getting a ton of referrals, um, but you're getting a whole bunch of leads from you know, open houses or you're getting a whole bunch of leads from Facebook, for example, and never really closing any business with them, um, then you know where your marketing is working for you or not. Um, and then you also, of course, have this view of your repeat and referral business. So obviously that's what we're all driving towards. Part of that dream is that people refer us, people come back to us, um, that they're remembering you and enjoying their transaction with you enough to provide your name and details to, to their friend who then comes to you when they have uh, a real estate need. Um, obviously as you're bringing in leads and they're going into your business pipeline here, we need to nurture and convert those leads and we need to do it better than we ever have before and that's what a system like exact contact is going to help you do so with a system like exact contact we have things like activity plans these marketing campaigns and we've actually written nine different campaigns for you they are all fully customizable these can be assigned to individual contacts or entire groups of contacts within the system and it allows you to um, assign these campaigns that will automatically then send, you'll notice that each of these campaigns has a specific type of, of prospect or um, past client that we're targeting. There's even a five year long campaign for your sphere of influence, right? Those are the people that long term are going to keep sending you referrals. So whether it's after transaction or whether it's just a good friend or family member that doesn't really ever have a real estate need, these emails will keep going out to them and reminding them that, hey, I'm still in real estate and 
you know, they're, they're more likely to uh, remember your name and, and your connection to, uh, to, the, to your business. So something like a first-time buyer plan, this again is a two-year long plan, each of these emails is set up and designed to look like a personal note from you. So they're not a big marketing piece, they're not meant to be. Things like your monthly e-newsletter, and we'll get to that in a moment, um, can be those big marketing pieces, or you're sending out um, you know, monthly stats, or you're sending out just listed announcements. Um, those are your big graphical marketing pieces. A drip campaign is meant to be more specific to the individual um, client or prospect you're communicating with. So these are meant to look like a personal note from you, and they will, of course, have your signature at the bottom and the appropriate salutation, you know, dear Susan at the top of the email for the person you're sending it to. And it's giving them information that's relevant to their personal scenario. So something like, um, what kind of mortgage can I get? Targeting a first-time home buyer is a really great touch point. And you'll notice that the plan is actually a series of emails with phone call reminders and even a subject for that phone call that you might want to talk about when you give them that call. So once you assign this plan, those emails auto-send and you automatically get those phone call reminders. So it's just doing that automation in the background that's going to keep you in touch with your contacts, providing them with relevant information specific to their own personal scenario. Um, the email drip campaigns can be assigned to any individual contact. And I'm just going to pop over here. Um, let's use Daniela as an example. And I uh, set Daniela up. We can see here she's a long-term prospect and a first-time buyer. So Daniela is someone that we've met. She is not quite ready yet. She's currently renting. And she's told you, you know, my husband and I are getting married in the spring. Or sorry, my fiance, rather, and I are getting married in the spring. And we're going to be looking for a new place to live because we want to start a family right away, but we don't want to raise them in our current rented condo. We're going to want more space, a backyard, so on and so forth. Um, but as you can tell from that timeline, we married in the spring. They're probably going to buy a place fairly soon after that, and then the family's going to come in, in succession. Um, so they're not a hot lead. They're someone that you need to follow up with long term. And as salespeople, and I'm not just saying real estate people, as salespeople, that's where we often fall short, right, is where we have that long term lead, but we need to continue to nurture them and continue to feed them information that's relevant so when they are ready, they think of you first. So to assign a campaign like the first-time homebuyer campaign to a contact like Daniela, it's as simple as checking this little box, checking the dates. Maybe if we notice that one of these is going to fall on a specific holiday that we don't want the email to go out, we can make that adjustment. This looks pretty good. So we can simply assign that plan and create the selected tasks. So now Daniela has all of those pending emails ready, to schedule, ready and scheduled to go out with little phone call reminders to you. So that's just going to keep touching, touching, touching. Um, within a system like Exact Contact, we can automate this one step further. Obviously, we've met Daniela personally. We've entered her into the system ourselves. We've added this activity plan to, uh, to her record so that she's going to start receiving that communication. But what about leads that are coming into the system from external sources? We can capture leads from your Exact Contact website, if you're using our website, from external website sources, from Zillow, from 5 Street, we have integrations with both of those um, lead capture sources. And if I just pop into lead capture here, you'll see we can actually automatically assign a specific marketing campaign as soon as a contact is accepted into the database. I can even have the system automatically accept new leads into my database, automatically assign this campaign. So making it that much simpler, that much more streamlined for you, so you're still out selling, talking to, to prospective buyers, doing listing presentations, driving that activity that's going to get you to your goals while the system is helping you in the background. So having these automatically assigned to specific campaigns for a buyer, for instance, for a seller, um, just depending on which lead capture form. Now, this is from the exact contact website. We can get really specific. You can also have leads from any other source using this nice little lead capture email. So leads from virtually any online source can be automatically captured into the system, create a contact record just like Daniela's, and then automatically assign to a specific drip campaign. So helping you. Uh, Shannon, can I ask you a question about all this? Yeah, please do. Because um, this is, 
you know, the, the, this stuff is, it makes so much sense. Like it, it's really hard talk to argue that doesn't make, it doesn't make sense to be more organized about your sales process, right? It really, it's, it's a yeah. no brainer. But if you're someone that hasn't done this before and frankly doesn't like doing a lot of paperwork, which is most of us, um, how long does it take to do, to, to really get in the game with this? And, and what support do you guys provide people to do it if, if they're just not comfortable doing this kind of thing themselves? Yeah, of course. So our support team offers what we call our concierge setup service, and it's unmatched in the industry. We've got one of the top support teams out there. Um, our concierge setup service ensures that everyone's contacts get uploaded, that um, trip campaigns are assigned, monthly e-newsletters are automatically going out, that everything is set up and working in the background, so agents are free to keep doing what they do best, being out meeting people and, uh, and working their business. It's as simple as setting up just this one little button. If leads come into my database, what do I want the original source to be? I'm going to assign it. Which campaign do I want them to get? And do I want them assigned to a contact group? So very straightforward to set that up. And our support team will, will sit down um, over the phone, obviously, with uh, anyone setting up their account and make sure that things like this are, are working for them. Um, and that leads from, from all of those external sources are coming into the system so that this is working in the background. So you basically help them get it going because that's, yeah. I think the hardest part with this stuff is getting it going. Once you get it going, it makes a lot of sense. It's just kind of overwhelming to be honest, to get it started. So it sounds like you're like, as long as you call us, we got you. <laughs> we'll help you, yeah. we'll help you get this done, but you just, we'll get it started for you. And we, we've got a bunch of questions already coming in while I've, while I've stopped you for a second. Let me ask you. Sure. Um, do you have an, an enterprise version of exact contact available? Um, not enterprise, um, in the way that it can be fully customized, but we do offer mm -hmm. brokerage packages. So, and okay, I think that's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, there's different customization available, um, at the brokerage mm -hmm. level. So things mm -hmm. like the email campaign. We can give the brokerage access to create their own brokerage specific drip campaign. They can have access awesome. to okay. edit the monthly e newsletter ahead of time so that just agents in their brokerage are receiving a customized version of our monthly email newsletter. Gotcha. And um, do you, can you do birthday greetings and, and unique monthly drip campaigns automatically? Yeah, I'm actually getting there next. Okay, perfect. I want to stop talking and let you go, but then I'll, we'll come back to the questions in a little while. Thank you. No worries. So, so this is this is how you set up those automated drip email campaigns, um, and you can also have contacts coming into your database automatically assigned to a monthly email newsletter. So, I'm just going to pop into uh, to where the settings are for that. So, the monthly email newsletter um, it can be set up. It automatically goes out every single month. You assign it to the initial set of contacts that you upload to your database. And then you can also choose to have contacts entering your database automatically assigned. And it's just a, literally a series of little, I'll quickly pop into it here for you um, to speak to it. So it's just really a, a series of little checkboxes, automatically assign newly entered contacts to my email newsletter. And again, this is something that as part of our concierge setup service, we will make sure is working for you as soon as your database is uploaded into the system. Um, and we actually do the database upload for you as well. So. We're working with you, holding your hand, doing a one-on-one -on -one call with you, hosting a daily webinar, whatever works best for you to make sure that the system is, is up and running and working for you. Um, this monthly email newsletter, as I mentioned, is fully written for you every single month. It has new content, new topics. It will always have your branding at the top, and this can be customized for your, for your brokerage. You can even customize this background color so that it matches your logo or your company colors. Um, it's obviously gonna have your uh, a link to your website you can have your mobile numbers, whatever is relevant contact information for you. Of course, the appropriate salutation for each person that's sending out to. And then this is a bit of an oxymoron, but the generic personal message. We write it for you and it can be customized. Um, all of the content of the articles that we write for you is also customizable. So although this is professionally written, professionally designed, you can actually edit this content you can even exclude an article if you don't like a particular one or don't think it speaks to the customers that you're sending it out to. And you can also add in your own article in this same format. The advantage to the format of our monthly e-newsletter is it is mobile friendly. So as you know, I would say 85 at least, at least percent of people are reading their email on their phone today. So not having to pinch and zoom to read the content that you're sending them is a huge advantage to you. People are much more likely to actually read through it, 
um, you know, even if they're just skimming the topics, because they can easily read it on their phone. It's not an annoying thing for them to do. So as you see here, three different articles, and again, fully customizable. Now, um, the, uh, the keep in touch that, uh, that Marilyn was just actually speaking to with regards to birthdays and move-in anniversaries is also something that's automated and included in exact contact. So we've already looked at drip email. We're looking at the monthly email newsletter. Um, you have automated phone call reminders as part of those drip campaigns. And we also have um, automate, automatic reminders for keep in touch phone calls at different recurring intervals and automatic reminders for birthdays and move-in anniversaries. Everybody likes being wished happy birthday. Even if you barely met the person, it feels good for someone to recognize you know, that that's your personal day. But move-in anniversaries for real estate agents are even more important to follow up with your contacts on because it's a, it's a key date that relates back to your business and it makes you look really smart and have that personal touch. Because chances are Joe Smith knows that he moved in in the summer five years ago because it was hot. But you know, he might even know that it was June. But does he remember exactly what day? Probably not. Fairly unlikely. But when you follow up five years to the day that someone is, is, has moved into their um, new home, you can see, you put this in your calendar. You can set yourself a task reminder or say seven days ahead of time. If you want to um, have a reminder, say you're going to go to the mall and go to Hallmark and buy a card and put it in the mail. Um, a task reminder, I want it on that day, seven days before, and I like my tasks bright and early in the morning so that I can look at them and see what I have to do for the day. I'm going to check off. I want the system to automatically assign contacts with a move-in date to the event, and I'm going to turn it on for all contacts currently in my database that have a move-in date on their contact record. And we can go one step further. And this is a, a very new feature of exact contact um, per, per popular request. Um, we can now actually automatically send an email greeting card on the day of the move-in date. So of course, the contact record has to have an email address, but presumably if this is someone you had helped find their home, you have that contact information for them. And we're gonna look in the greeting cards, and I'm gonna find a nice move-in anniversary card. And there's, as you can see, there are several different move-in anniversary cards. There's greeting cards for all different holidays, um, but for the specific one, we want the move-in anniversary. And when I preview this, you can see we've actually created a nice graphic. It'll include the salutation for the appropriate person, and then has a nice little message. And again, this will go with your signature automatically included. So again, the automation of the system here is that you look really impressive and really smart. You're following up with your past clients a year, five years, three years, 10 years to the day that you help them find their new home. Um, even if it's just this email and you do nothing with the reminder, you've at least reached out to them, touched base, and made that nice little connection on their move-in anniversary so that you're keeping in touch for those key dates. Pardon me, I just needed a little sip of water there. As you can all tell, I have a bit of a, a scratchy throat today. I think it's going around. Um, the other thing um, that we just that we just looked at and keep in touch here, it's just asking me if I want to save and I don't, um, is these keep in touch calls. These are automatic recurring calls within the system. And again, this is all part of part of the setup. Um, we'll help you assign these and and, uh, and even can sort of. Uh, coach a little bit on, on you know, who you should assign to each of these different call intervals. Um, we have the ability, if I just pop into a contact record here, to turn on any specific call reminder or off for any contact at any time. So this recurring call reminder essentially will start the day that you turn it on, right? If I were to say activate, it would start today. And then it will automatically put that in my task list at whatever interval I've asked the system to uh, I've set it up for. Now, obviously, we don't want to go through our database contact by contact to do that, and you don't have to. What exact contact allows you to do is actually search your contacts, and you can search your contacts in a number of ways. You can either pull up the list like we just saw there, or we can use things like status from our business pipeline. You can use your contact groups, and you can create as many different contact groups as is appropriate for your database. I'm going to pull up just my B list here. 
and I pull those contacts into a list view, I can now actually work with this list en masse. So you'll notice this little select action at the top. This allows me to mass assign things like keep in touch calls or even an activity plan. So just like we had assigned the two-year um, drip campaign for a first-time home buyer to Daniela, we can actually mass assign that drip campaign across a, a set of contacts within our database. So if these were all past clients that we pulled up from our business pipeline, we might want to mass assign them all to that five-year sphere of influence campaign. So again, allowing you to work on mass with the system and of course our support and our, our concierge setup will help you do that with your database as you're getting started. So if I want to mass assign something like a keep in touch phone call, what the system allows me to do is choose which type of call. So I'm going to say this is my B list. I'm going to call them quarterly. And I don't necessarily want all of those call reminders on the same day, right? This is a fairly small list of just 12 within the database, but what if this were a list of larger, right? A larger size, 20 or 50 even um, phone calls that I want to set up. So I'm going to call them quarterly. I'm going to choose to actually spread that out over about a month. What the system will then do is spread out those phone call reminders for you so that you're going to have just a few call reminders each day. Again, helping keep you organized, keep you on track. You're never going to fall out of touch with anyone um, because now not only do we have phone call reminders set up that we're just creating here, but we have them receiving our monthly e-newsletter. We have them set up on a drip email campaign. So you're really nurturing um, and having the ability to stay in touch with and therefore convert your leads that much more efficiently than you ever have before when you set up a system like Exact Contact to help you manage your business to, uh, again, drive towards that, that dream of um, converting as many leads as you can and, and driving those goals of uh, not just activity, but also driving the goal of, uh, of what you want to achieve financially each year and doing it with, an, with organization so that you have a work-life balance, right? You're checking your task list each day. Here's the calls I need to make. Here's the activities I need to do. Here's any follow-up that I've created for myself so that you're never losing track of where you're at in your business each day. Um, the one other thing that, uh, that I want to just touch on here is we keep talking, we have spoken to the, uh, the business pipeline and we looked at the dashboard widget that gave us just a quick snapshot of the business pipeline. So we looked at, um, just quickly a moment ago, contact groups. Contact groups are one way that Exact Contact allows you um, really organically and however suits your business to manage and categorize your contacts. So you, know, you could have a friends and family group, you could have a group for a specific neighborhood if you're doing a farming neighborhood. Um, you can just keep it simple and do you know, an A list, a B list, things like that. Um, you know, a, a hot referrals list, whatever makes sense to you. Um, business pipeline is also a way to categorize your contacts. And contacts will obviously move through the business pipeline. So while they may stay in the contact groups, those aren't really going to change, they will move through your business pipeline for the most part. So new unqualified leads come into the database and, and they live in that status until they're changed. Hot prospects and long-term prospects, Again, you can change their business pipeline status, and it's as simple as clicking this little update status and changing them from a long-term prospect to a hot prospect, and they'll move into the next category. I'm just going to leave them where they are for now because we've, again, demo database, and we've set this up a specific way. Um, in the business pipeline is where you'll also be able to make things like prospecting updates. You'll remember back to goal setting at the beginning of, uh, of today's presentation. When you set up your goals, you set up goals for specific prospecting activities. Those prospecting activities are hard loaded into the system um, because they report back to your goals and those widgets on the dashboard that show where you're at towards your goals. Um, by logging specific prospecting activities with your hot and long-term prospects, that's what's going to speak back towards those goals um, in those dashboard widgets so you know where you're at um, in, in your business uh, tracking. So I can log something like a phone call and make a note and about coffee right? So we can 
set that up. And then once I've logged that activity, it actually does show the last prospecting activity log. I actually sort based on this, and there's my phone call log there. So it gives you the ability to track all of your activity quickly and easily just by popping into your business pipeline. Um, you can also, if I were on a contact record, you can log prospecting updates, which are different than entering just notes. You can log prospecting updates directly from a contact record as well. So by doing that, you're keeping yourself on track back to those goals that we had set for ourselves, back to the prospecting activities that we're showing in the system here. So this is where you'll actually see, you know, what our weekly goals are. And phone call wise, we can see that this week we've actually made four. I don't know if anybody noticed earlier, um, but this had just said three on phone calls. And because we just logged a phone call, it's now switched it over to four. So we're almost at our weekly goal. Um, we're still a little out of whack for the year, but, uh, but yours are going to look much, much better than that um, because you're going to be logging your activity all year long once you've set up this, this goal and tracking plan. Um, I am going to uh, change gears just a little bit here. Let's pop back over to our monthly newsletter for a second. Um, we're all doing our marketing, right? You're all sending out emails. You're giving out your business card. You're sending out paper flyers, whatever you're doing. And on those flyers, um, typically, you're putting in your, your website address. Now, you do have to have some kind of online presence in order to have a website address. And if we actually um, set up something like a website with a system like Exact Contact, um, Exact Contact is a little bit different. We're not a website company that has a CRM in the background. We are a CRM and keep in touch marketing company that also includes a great website. Those websites are actually done for you with 16 pages of content ready to go, written for you. So you're not having to sit down, just like you're not having to sit down and figure out how to write a monthly e newsletter and what to include in that, you are able to, uh, to set up a website that already has pages with information for buyers, pages with information for sellers, and contact forms throughout the entire site. So there's, as we looked at in the lead capture settings, a general contact form. There are forms on the page for buyers specifically asking, are you looking to buy a home? And here's, here's the information. All of the content on this website is fully customizable. You can edit pages, you can add content, you can get rid of pages, you can have IDX on here for searchable listings directly from your local MLS. And this is all done for you. And again, our support team will, will help you set this up. Um, it's as simple as choosing the layout that you like, choosing the colors that you like, a background image, and then uploading your, your photo and your company logo. And there you have this, this great professional website presence. Even if you run your business on referrals and repeat business, um, anybody who's a referral, what's the first thing you do? Everybody Googles, right? They're probably going to Google your name and they're going to end up here on your website. And you need to have something online that's giving this presence that shows that, that you are actively in real estate. It has the listings. You can feature your listings or perhaps your office's listings, whatever makes sense. And you can also blog with our website. The blog is actually updated by us every two weeks. But like a lot of our customers, you can add your own blog posts in between hours. Or if you're actively writing, you can even turn off our blog and just write your own content. Um, I'm just going to pop over to a couple of customer websites just to give you a, a little bit of an idea of how much this can be customized. So this is a, a slightly different layout. You'll see the menus on a, in a different area. But you'll notice that this particular agent has set, his, uh, set up his own personal branding in addition to his company branding. He also has completely rewritten our homepage, right? Our said welcome. And he's written it all about Nolansville, Tennessee. He updates it every month with new events. He's got, you know, an affiliation with this great restaurant that he likes to recommend. Um, and then, of course, a little bit more about his business. You can embed a great video like this one, and it flows into listings. You'll notice on all of these website examples, you can have your social media feeds. And social media is actually the next thing I'm going to speak to. Um, a great CRM system like Exact Contact can also automate that for you. Um, but the one thing I just I want to point back to is with automated lead capture, if someone's filling out a specific form on this website, as we just looked at in the settings of the system, you can choose. If someone fills out this form, I want them to receive a specific drip campaign and be assigned to a specific group. And the system does that all in the background for you with just a couple of initial clicks for that setup. 
and we'll walk you through all of those important steps. Um, being able to have social media on your website means that you really need to be posting something actively. Now, who has time, right? Who has time to write their own social media posts? Um, we, we can barely find time to post our listings. Um, so Exact Contact has a system called Social Stream that actually provides you with automated content that will post to your social media. And I'm just gonna pop over here. So rather than you having to go um, to all of these different magazine and news sources or pay an assistant or a social media coordinator to find you content that you can post on your, um, on your social media pages, we actually have a whole database of curated content from national news and magazine sources. And we set this up so that it can automatically post to your social media pages as many as three times a day, so 21 times a week. You choose which days make the most sense to you, which days and times. And of course, you can choose if you get an email notification whenever a post goes out, and that way you see it automatically. And then, again, the system automatically posts that. Now, if you want to have a little bit more control over it, you can tell the system, mm, send me the post first so I can choose if I want that one or not. Or you, know, or you can say, no, I don't like that one. Please give me a different one. So the system has the ability to, uh, to be pulled back from that full automation a little bit. But again, you still have access to all of this great content that otherwise you'd be spending hours scouring the internet for um, hours that we just don't have. So the articles are pulled from these publications. And you can choose to turn on or off any of these individual publications. That's up to you. And then, again, um, choosing which topics. So if you know that the science is not something that, that you're going to be posting about, doesn't interest you, you know, can't speak to it your, yourself, don't want it on your social media, you can actually exclude those topics. So the green ones are included, the red ones are excluded. And then when this posts to your social media, it looks like this great little, um, this is actually one of our, our customers, a real estate agent named Caroline, um, locally here in the uh, Toronto area, that has uh, posting going out from social stream. And it will just say, you know, your name shared a link. Now the advantage here, um, in addition to creating content that's going out onto your social media, is that when you click this link, it doesn't just take you straight to the article on Financial Post's website. It takes you to a landing page with your branded um, contact information right there. So whoever's visiting this, this article knows exactly um, who provided the content. And you can also have a pop-up ask for their contact information. It can be so difficult with people following your Facebook page, with people um, following you on Twitter, to actually obtain their contact information that having a pop-up like this requested from them will actually um, prompt them to perhaps give you their contact information. You can choose if it's closable or if they have to complete it. And in this case, it's no thanks. And then they can go back to read the article. Now, they will navigate away from your, your landing page here to read the full article. Different publications have different amounts of content available. The advantage here, though, is that they still know that you provided this content to them. So it's still of value to them. It's real estate specific. It's something that was of interest. And in turn, they're, they're more likely to give you their contact information in return for, for this content. So just another example of, uh, of how a great system can help you drive your business um, in the background, right? So again, I'm just gonna quickly recap. We've got automated phone call reminders, automatic drip email campaigns, monthly email newsletter done for you and sent out automatically each month, a great online presence with a website. Um, now, I will preface this, um, you don't actually have to use Exact Contact website. If you already have a great custom website that you love, we can simply have your leads forwarded over from that website to the CRM so that all of the other pieces then work for you in the background. And we can also help you with your social media presence. Um, now, this is great. We've got all the follow-up. We're generating leads with social media. We're following up with those leads. Um, we're having a great online presence with our website. We're sending those leads a monthly email newsletter. But what do we do with our business once we actually have listings and buyers. An exact contact, great CRM, will help you 
manage your active business, your listings and your buyers as well. So again, you're nurturing and converting those leads at a rate you never thought possible. Now we need to actually be able to track and stay on track with our business so that once we actually get those listings and get those buyers, that nothing falls through the cracks with that active business either. So we did all the work to get, uh, to get Sal to, uh, to use us to sell his home. We enter the listing into the system. You can enter as much of the listing information as you know up front, and of course this can be updated at any time. And then there's another type of activity plan in Exact Contact. This is a new listing, and you can actually assign a three-month new listing plan. This is a to-do list. This is all the things that you have to do from the time you get that listing right through close. We've created this for you. And again, it can be tweaked and customized. Everybody has their own slight differences in process, but there's a plan here, there's a starting point for you. Once we assign this plan, let me just pop that on there for you, just takes a second to generate the tasks. I can now see all of those pending activities that I need to complete for this listing. Now each day in my task list, I will just see the ones that are due today. So there's no more laying awake at three o'clock in the morning, trying to remember all the things we're gonna have to do, or as Marilyn said, waking up in the morning and going, okay, now what am I supposed to do today? You can log into your system, and you can do that either on your desktop app or you can use um, the mobile app, right, to log in and, and see your task list. So here's the things I have to do today, or here's something I missed doing a day ago. And you've got all of those tasks laid out for you. So it's helping keep you organized and on track with your day-to-day -day business. Um, once those tasks are completed, you do actually have the ability um, to track showings as well as those tasks and even print a service report that could be provided to your clients to say, hey, here's all the things I've done, here's all the showings we've had for your listing. So you're really keeping on track and keeping yourself accountable back to your clients. Um, the same thing applies for, um, for closings. Once we have changed a listing over to a status of sold, we can also assign an activity plan this is specifically for closing. And we've created, a, again, created one for you, and you can add to it, you can create your own plan from scratch, whatever works for you. Um, but again, we've written a plan for you with all of those initial tasks. So at the time of closing, you have all the things that you appropriately have to do. And of course, those dates can be adjusted. If it's a short closing or a longer one, you can stretch that, stretch that plan out or really condense it down so that, uh, that you're keeping on track and managing your, your business overall so that you're keeping your day-to-day your -day, um, business on the go. And you're doing it professionally, right? You're not sort of floundering around in the morning trying to remember all the things you have to do and suddenly it's 10 o'clock and you haven't really done anything. Have you ever had one of those days? It's like, oh my God, it's 10 o'clock. What have I done today? Um, you're never going to feel that way again when you've got a great CRM system in the background helping you, right? People are going to be calling you. Emails are going out automatically. You've got a task list to keep you organized and on track, and you've got goals that you're holding yourself accountable to. Um, so just to, to sort of recap here, um, I'm just gonna pop back into my presentation. Oops, heard me. Oh, we'll just, we'll pop through, there we go. So we talked about creating goals and an action plan to earn the income you want and achieve the work-life balance you desire. So we did that. Um, with Exact Contact, you set up goals and then you track and action those goals. So you're working your plan and seeing your performance against your goals, right? Both financially as well as activity-based and, and one will get you the other. You've got to do one to get the other. You're nurturing and converting leads better than ever because you're keeping in touch with your sphere better than ever and with less effort, right? Think about all of the automatic things that we just talked about and we can set up with this system. You're gonna be maintaining a professional online presence, so your website, through your website and your social media, and you're gonna manage your active business professionally with nothing ever falling through the cracks again. So everything is tracked and organized and recorded and reportable so that, again, you have that accountability um, to your system, to yourself, and above all, it's going to keep you organized and in control of your entire business so that 
you have that business of your dreams, that not only are you achieving the goals that you dream of, that you've set up for yourself, but you're also able to, um, to have that work-life balance, right? To have that day-to-day -day that to everybody else, although you're still working your butt off and working hard, you make it look easy because you have a system that's helping you in the background. So again, we talked about how does exact contact help you? And I know Marilyn asked the question, and I have a whole slide right about our concierge setup service. So we actually upload your data for you. We'll help you set up your email branding, your monthly e-newsletter, those keep in touch call reminders, even drip campaigns, um, your lead capture, and whether you're setting that, setting that up from your website with us or setting it up from an external website. Um, we are also integrated with Zillow and Five Street as lead capture partners. And uh, we also have that email lead capture from essentially any other online source that you're capturing leads from. We're able to sync with Google, with Outlook, even with your wireless device, with both your contacts and your calendar. So not only are you staying organized in your CRM, it's keeping you organized in your contacts so that it's always up to date in your phone. Great to have a backup of your phone, just on that note. Um, you drop your phone in the, in the sink or you, know, you lean over the fountain to, to pull out a dime <laughs> and you drop your phone in. What happens if you lose your phone? Where are your contacts backed up to? So having that sync can also help you with that backup of your contacts. They're always going to be in your CRM. And we have unlimited phone support um, Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Part of our concierge setup is that we actually call you. So you create an account, and within a day or two, somebody from our team is going to call you, welcome you, and ask to help get you set up. So you're not on your own by any means, and you can call us whenever you need assistance. It's ongoing, unlimited support. Um, where's the proof? We have got with high, high ratings with software review sites like Active Rain, um, G2 Crowd, and of course, our partner uh, today, RE Technology. And we're endorsed by many leading real estate coaches and trainers. We've got hundreds of client testimonials. I've included just one here, but I have a, a few additional. And I want to just read a couple of these. Um, Dennis, Dennis from, uh, from Remax Hallmark. Um, so this is a pretty, uh, pretty, strong, um, pretty strong claim. I believe that exact contact has helped me double my business this year. The system is simply amazing. Or Keith from McDonald Realty. Exact contact offers an affordable program for keeping in touch with our clients and contacts in a strategic way. The system has helped us increase our business by over 100% in the two years we've been using it. So, and again, Scott as well. Um, I won't read it aloud, but you get the idea, right? These are, these are real customers um, today with exact contact that have been using the system, and they feel that by, by using a CRM, um, in this case, specifically exact contact, it, it really has helped them increase their overall business. Um, now, Keith has mentioned that it is an affordable program, and it really is. If you were to go and find each of the services included in exact contact, a real estate CRM, a professionally written and designed monthly email newsletter, an email marketing platform that has email campaign reporting, I didn't even get to that today, uh, but you can actually see who's opening your emails, even who's clicking through on links in your emails. Um, and a custom a mobile friendly website, I would say this $90 to $230 a month is actually a pretty conservative number um, if you're looking at, uh, at getting all of those services from individual resources and then trying to combine them, right, and trying to manage them in all of those individual sources. You've got a password for this and a login for that. Um, with a system like Exact Contact, we roll all of these pieces into one for just a cost of uh, $33 a month, and that's on our annual plan. Um, I do have a, a little bit of a special offer today. It is an extended free trial. Um, that actually should say extended 60-day free trial. Our regular free trial is just five weeks. Um, and you can sign up by going to exactcontact.com slash retech. Um, of course, we're going to give retech and the uh, webinar today uh, credit for, uh, for getting you over to, uh, to exact contact. Um, now, I'm going to circle back to uh, either uh, Marilyn or Allison, if somebody wants to jump in, if there are additional questions from the Hi, Shannon. Questions? Yes. Uh, one of them is, can you sync with Google or Outlook? Yes, absolutely, both. Um, so you can sync with Google, Outlook. Um, we can even sync with your wireless device contacts. So if you've got like Apple contacts and your iCal, we can sync with that as well. 
Uh, and we also had a question, uh, can I create my own task plans? Yeah, absolutely. So we've created task plans for you. Um, same thing with the marketing drip email campaigns. Um, we've created a number of, of pieces for you, but you're welcome to either customize those or if, if you've got content that you want to, uh, to create your own plan or create your own to-do list, you can absolutely create your own from scratch as well. Uh, we also had, uh, does the website get listings from my MLS? Yes. So with the um, addition of IDX on your website, that actually is a direct feed from your board, your local board, um, so you can have listings that are, it will be your whole board that's searchable, and then you can actually feature your own listings or feature your office's listings, whatever is more appropriate um, for your location or for yourself. Great. Thanks so much, Shannon. Thanks, Allison. I'm going to swing back over to uh, Marilyn if you want to jump in with any additional questions or comments. Um, there's a, there's a ton more questions in here. I, I, I don't know if we want to ask, ask any or answer any more of those, Allison. You guys can pose whatever whatever you like. Throw them at me. <laughs> okay. There's one that I think is an interesting one about. Um, do you can can this system be used for re recruiting? So can a man, an office manager, or a broker use it for re for recruiting? Do you have campaigns set up to help them with that? We do. It's actually in a diff in a separate system built on, on the mm -hmm. same uh, same platform um, initially. And it's actually a system called Exact Recruiter. And Exact Recruiter has drip campaigns that are targeting agents from a broker or manager. Mm -hmm. um, even the email newsletter is, is a different, different content. Um, you actually get five brand new articles every single month. And again, that content is giving agents tips and tricks to help them run their business. So if there's questions about Exact Recruiter, um, contact mm -hmm. our sales team directly because we'd be happy to actually do a, a, a live walkthrough of, of Exact Recruiter specifically. And where should they where should they contact sales to ask about that product? Um, just the the uh, email address and phone number that are on the screen at the moment the eight six 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 five double zero one eight or info at exactcontact.com. Perfect. That actually comes to both Allison and myself. Okay. Um, there's a couple of questions about ingesting leads. So can you talk about how leads are ingested and do you also work with Five Street in addition to some of the other folks? Yes. So we are directly integrated with Five Street. We're partnered with them. We are also a Zillow Tech Connect partner. So you'll find us in the, the list when you're trying to, uh, to bring your Zillow leads over to the CRM. Um, same thing with Five Street. For most other sources, um, email lead capture is what we use. There's a specific lead capture email address in the back end of everyone's exact contact account. And so mm -hmm. if you're using an external website or you have you know, lead capture that are com that's coming in and would normally come to your personal email address, you simply replace your email address or add an additional email address with that lead capture email. And that will drive it directly to the system, create a contact record, and still send you a notification in real time. And with exact contact, mm -hmm. you can actually receive that notification by email and or text message. Gotcha. Um, do you have drip campaigns for other holidays? Uh, they're asking about Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, Thanksgiving, et cetera, et cetera. Um, not drip campaigns, but there are email greeting cards for most major holidays. So you would, okay, send, those out, you would send those out as a mass email. So typically you would send that out you know, a week or so ahead. You can actually schedule an email in advance of, of Thanksgiving, for example. Gotcha. Um, then question, what about a database with clients you already have? How would that work? Um, so you would use things like the business pipeline status and contact groups to categorize. So you can actually have a combination of not just leads and prospects, but also your existing client base all in one system and manage both. Gotcha. And people can do that on their own or do you do it for them or how does that work? Um, typically, when we, we do an initial upload or import of contacts for clients, um, if you're sending in lists, um, you can either designate them as, you know, status, their client, or they're a past client, or they're a hot prospect. You can do that right in your spreadsheet, or send them a separate list and just give our support team the instruction that this list should be set as client and this list should be set as prospect. Can you help them get, um, Contacts off their phone too, because a lot of people have them there and don't know how to 
Well, we can, it. yeah. It's usually just a case of uh, if it's something like iPhone, um, our support mm -hmm. team can give them the easy instructions to back it up to the cloud and how to export it from there. Gotcha. Um, there's a question. Does this overlay on Outlook? I run my life through Outlook and don't want to maintain two databases. Um, well, yeah, we can sync with Outlook. So the contacts and calendar would be synced. Things like active business, however, Outlook doesn't have the functionality to manage that. But if you sync with your contacts and your calendar in Outlook, then your contacts and your calendar would be the same in both Outlook and Exact Contact all the time. Gotcha. Um, this person wanted to know if they can include their company logo and a personal logo on the branding. Yes. Okay, that's easy. Okay, good. Uh, let's see. We have so many questions. You guys really like this stuff. Um, yeah, it's great. It's great to have all the questions. It's, it's you know part of yeah, why we're here. Is, uh, of course, if there's any questions, oh, here's here's a good one for you. Yeah. Can we prioritize tasks each day? And also, when we send an email, is the email coming from my email or from some other email? So does it look like it's from my own personal email? Okay, so two different questions there. Um, tasks, yeah. um, any tasks that are assigned for today, they're, they're assigned mm -hmm. to today. So there's no way to sort of say, like, I want to do these three things first. They're just they're all in the task list for today. If they are mm -hmm. overdue, they do turn red. So that's the indication okay. that they're overdue. Um, in terms of the, uh, the second part of that question, um, can you just repeat it for me again, Marilyn? Can and sorry, I just want to jump in real quick. Yeah. Uh, you actually, you can prioritize tasks as high, medium, or low. Oh, you can. Prior. Okay, excellent. That's obviously something I need to do in my CRM. <laughs> That's awesome. And then. Does, does it push the, the um, tasks to you and by email so you, you, know, you don't have to go into the system or do you have to go it in does. to see what your tasks are for the yep. day? It does push the email, um, push the task to you with a reminder. Gotcha. Okay. Um, so this, I think this is a similar to what we just heard. Okay, so if I purchased a domain like ours is team at homes by payus.com, they can come from that email. Is there somewhere I can see an example of how we can, pri or we had just talked about prioritizing. So they can come from there, the email that they've purchased. It doesn't have to come from something that you guys have. Is that correct? Correct. Yeah. So, so this, the, the standard way that the system is set up is that emails coming from the system will show as something at exact contact with the agent's name. So it's not their Got email it. address specifically. If you own your own domain name, we can mm -hmm. change that email address to be your email address. Now, okay, gotcha. So they would be able to use the one there. If you're using Gmail or Hotmail, we can't mm -hmm. do that because you have to have permission to email from that email address. Right. But if they have something like Teams by us, that then it's yeah. fine. Yeah, if they own their it. own okay. domain with, with an email address attached, then we can absolutely <laughs> change that for them. Um, so this is about database management. So when choosing, choosing categories to contact, if they are in more than one category, will it duplicate in the list? So in other words, I'm... I'm going to push, you know, a holiday announcement to all of my different databases. Will they get it twice, or does it know enough to dedupe it if it's going to the same no, email it, address? It will only send it once. Oh, perfect. Okay, awesome. Okay, you guys are really smart. You do a lot of good stuff here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. How can I how can I find out more about the IDX solution? I assume they would just call info app. They'll tell you more about that. Yeah, either email info at or give us a call, and uh, mm -hmm. we can give you more examples and, and speak to what the different features are, because we have a couple of different IDX packages. Got it. Um, to go back on the texting, will that be an additional cost if I, if I use your texting solution? The texting at the moment is only set up to be a notification of a, of, of a new lead, so there's no cost to that. Um, we are okay. actually in development, and I know that our management team actually just met this morning to work out some of the details of a text marketing solution that we will be adding. And I don't gotcha. really think okay. it's in early development stages, so I don't know if there's going to be an added cost to that at this time. Okay. Um, question, where can I access a replay of this and past webinars? I can answer that one for you. So there's three different ways that this will happen. Since you registered for this today, you will be getting an email from us automatically that has a recording of it. And then there are two other locations. You can go onto retechnology.com and go to the webinars tab and click there and you'll see all of the webinars that we've ever um, hosted. 
And if you're on YouTube, you can go to RE Technology Inc. And again, you'll see all of the web the webinars that we've ever hosted there. So in any of those three places, hopefully that'll help you guys. If anybody and can't I find can it in a, one of those three, let us know. I can add a fourth uh -huh. place to that because we will be adding it to the webinars on our YouTube channel as well. So gotcha. Search, so. um, here's a here's a question for you. Would you recommend placing a contact in more than one category, i.e. past client slash friend and family? I'm thinking of drip campaigns activity that may double up on that one contact. Yes, so often contacts are in more than one group. Um, something like um, past client is actually a business pipeline status as opposed to a contact group. So you're categorizing in two different ways, but you can also gotcha. say mm -hmm. if someone could be in your um, friends and family group, but also an A referral source. Right? So maybe those are two gotcha. different contact mm -hmm. groups. So you know, we do recommend that you, you categorize them with multiple groups. We use our database that way today. Um, it mm -hmm. simply means that, yes, if you're assigning like one group to a drip campaign and then also assigning another group, you could potentially mm -hmm. assign them to two different drip email campaigns. But think of it this way. If it's information that you want them to receive in both cases, um, as long as it's not you know, sending out five emails a day, there's really no harm in sending that additional information. Gotcha. Okay. How quickly does the site update with your MLS? So in other words, how, how often are you, are you refreshing the data being pulled from the MLS? It depends on the board, actually, um, because we use the IDX okay. feed directly from the board. Each board is a mm -hmm. little bit different. Um, typically, it's just a couple of hours. Gotcha. Okay. Is social media included in the CRM package, or do we have to buy that separately? Social media is additional. You uh, social stream. You everybody has a 30-day free trial from whenever they okay. activate their social stream account, and then after that, it's just $20 a month. So if you think about it this way, $20 a month to have content automatically going out on your social media up to 21 times a week. Gotcha. And is IDX an add-on product as well? Uh, IDX is an add-on um, to the website, and there's a couple of different packages. You can do it for as little as $13 a month. Gotcha. Okay. Um, what else? We have so many questions here. Um, do you have any promotions going on? I think you just mentioned that there's a two. Uh, you want to mention the webinar special again? Yeah. So the webinar special is an extended 60-day free trial. Our typical free trial is just five weeks. And uh, I think my slide is still on the screen there um, that you can sign up just by using the uh, extension RETech to our exact contact.com domain. Perfect. Um, are you able to build landing pages within the web, within the web with the website? We don't. Um, we don't actually have landing pages specifically. A landing page um, is is actually a, a page that has a specific domain name, so a different domain name than your actual website. Within our website, you can build as many pages as you like. All of them would be okay. an extension of your original domain. Okay. Um, is your content source from Canadian and American sources? It looked like it was. It looks like you have Toronto plus USA Today. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. So there are different publications. Um, depending on where you're located, you'll turn different ones on or off that are going to be most relevant okay. to uh, to who your, your audience is. Okay. Can the system send info to buyers when after they ha indicate the type of home they are interested in? The website can. <laughs> So as one okay. of our um, IDX packages, there is the ability mm -hmm. for people to save a search or you to save a search mm -hmm. on behalf of one of your buyers, and then the system will automatically email the new listings that match their search criteria. Okay. Um, I think you answered this, but what is the annual cost? Uh, $33 a month on annual billing. Um, if you'd rather go with month-to-month -month billing, it's 39 So you're saving 15% by doing the annual plan. Gotcha. Um, there's a question about Google Gmail or contact syncing from Gmail. I don't want all contacts to be synced back and forth. Can we group contacts in Gmail and then sync only that group? Unfortunately not. It is an all or nothing sync. Gotcha. Okay. But they could download it into a CSV potentially and then clear yeah. it out and then just upload yeah. the ones you want. Is that right? Exactly. You can actually choose the contacts that you want exported. So if you have them grouped in Google, you could say, I just want to export this group. Gotcha. Okay. Is there a limit to the number of pages the website can have? No, not at all. Okay. Are we able to speak to a few iContact users who have similar businesses to ourselves? 
we, we're a team of three with an average of $10 million per year in sales volume. I'm not able to provide um, customer information or customer contact information. Obviously, that's mm -hmm. part of our confidentiality is that we're not sharing your information or sharing your database um, with anybody else. But if that mm -hmm. team would like to, uh, to contact myself um, or any member of our sales team, we can actually show them mm -hmm. how the team functionality works. There is, um, there is specific team functionality that can be set up within exact contact. Gotcha. How much is the IDX feed add-on? Uh, there are two different packages. Standard IDX, um, I mentioned, is $13 a month. Advanced mm -hmm. IDX, the one that will allow automated email updates of new listings, um, among other many, many other features, is $33 a month. And there is a okay. one-time board approval fee of 65 Gotcha. Is there a way that you can enter um, uh, specific commercial properties onto the websites as well? You would have to add them yourself unless they're included mm -hmm. in the MLS. Um, typically, okay. we know commercial properties are not included um, in the IDX feed from MLS. But yeah, absolutely, mm -hmm. you can. And I've seen agents do this where they work with just luxury property, and so they want mm -hmm. it to look a very specific way on their website. I've seen agents actually just add the listing themselves to their site. Gotcha. Um, this question is, this sounds great. Do you have any realtors in Vancouver using the system? Yes, many. Um, and uh, we didn't get the chance to mention Exact Contact is actually a Canadian company. So specifically mm -hmm. for our Canadian customers, um, the content spelling and nomenclature is just a little bit different so that mm -hmm. you know, people in, in Canada are receiving content that's relevant to, to Canadians as well. Mm -hmm. Is there a way to uh, export... Um, all right, maybe maybe they mean import. I'm not sure, but past Zillow leads, in other words, ones that aren't coming in in real time, but they've already had. Can they take them out of one system and put them into yours? Yeah, there would be a way to export from Zillow into a kind of mm -hmm. Excel spreadsheet, and then just mm -hmm. email that to our support team, and they can upload it for you. Gotcha. Uh, how long is your offer good for that you're ex you're extending today? It does not expire. Okay. Because of our lovely partner with RE Technology. So you can uh, sign up with that link that's on your screen um, at any time. My apologies. <laughs> no um, is the material available in French?